All right, guys. Uh, last night I'm searching through the internet and I put in how to recoup funds from an ICO scam as an investor. Okay, so there's some articles out there right now, and this is for all the newbies out there, and this is for anyone actually, but this is specifically for the new people to crypto. I want you to understand how to avoid getting involved in these ICO scams. Okay. What you got to remember is people out there, when they say there's a new ICO out there and they are promoting it on their YouTube site, a lot of people are promoting it because they're going to earn a referral off it, off your investment, okay? Now, I, on my site, you will see me promote things that I am already stuck in, so I'm promoting them for my platform, um, for the platform I'm involved in. I'm supporting my investment, and I am trying to get um, the platform a little bit of momentum, you know, with my channel um, to sustain and make our investments worthwhile. But if you are new to crypto, there are some articles out there that show you what to look for and what to avoid. And the SEC is cracking down on the crypto scams, and here's how to avoid investing in them. I'm going to give you a brief, like just the titles here, and I'll put the link to this article. You can read it in the, uh, I'll put it down in the description. You can go check this article out. There's some good articles, but I found another one that's pretty wild that I want to share with you right after this, okay? So it's uh, SEC cracks down ICO scams. Earlier in the month, they busted PlexCoin. Um, 15 million dollars they took from investors uh, let's see what else they found another one called recoin that they shut down um, which was a real estate investment coin and I remember that one because I was looking heavily into that one I actually designated funds to go into that one but I never put it in um, they actually had some like from what I can remember I think they did like fake morning sh show ads on their website like like they showed um, the two people who were coming up with this program they showed them interviewing with like a, a, a talk show host or a morning show host and they were going over the program and saying how great it was it was a pretty elaborate screen they put together anyway so in this article they talk about how to avoid the ICO. It says avoid the ICO. <clears throat> Anything that uses ICO in its terminology, you should avoid, which is ironic. Um, also, you have to ask the right questions. Um, there's three questions of each to determine. Is there a product and does it have a market? Do I trust these people with my money or not? And then it gives a little breakdown of what to look for here. If I give these people my money, what are they going to do with it? Now, these are three important questions you have to ask yourself. Um, now, all you can do basically in today's industry is you can rely on what they tell you. And there's so much deception. I wouldn't do that, guys. I wouldn't rely on what any website is telling you or any of these um, any of these ICOs are telling you. It's hard to dig and do your due diligence but it's something we have to do as investors and to prevent this from ongoing um, if I give these people money what are they gonna do with it that is a big one so I mean they give you roadmaps they give you white paper to look at that shows you their intent with your investment um, but you have to take it for what it's worth guys they can put anything there and that statement I said there is gonna be brought up on the next segment of this video that I'm going to show you is I mean I got something really wild to show you how easy it is to take advantage of these investors avoid TGEs with red flags <clears throat> obviously token buyers do not have time to research and evaluate every TGE consequently consequently I'm sorry the it's important to be on the lookout for red flags that you should that should cause caution contributors to issue in a partial project so um, you also want to look for developer transparency 
Um, you want to be able to know who they are. You want to be able to identify who they are. Um, are they hiding behind a fake name, fake pictures? Uh, you know, different things like that. Most of these scams will put up um, cut and paste pictures and cut and paste white papers and just template stuff. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit, so stay tuned here. All right. Unrealistic goals and suspicious claims. Unrealistic goals are when they're telling you you're going to make 45 to 50% a month. I mean, that it's realistic at the top of their scheme, but to sustain that for more than a few months, I don't see how any platform can do that. Um, but they're giving you an example here. Um, <clears throat> they were led to believe in PlexCoin that 1300 percent in just 29 days that's unrealistic very unrealistic that's why the SEC actually jumped in on this and shut them down before they got too far don't let yourself become a victim um, the advent of crypto assets represents an exciting development for the finance industry and token buyers have a unique opportunity to participate to participate directly in techno technological innovations so it is exciting you know they cause FOMO. They they pump you a program that's really good and makes you like f have fear of missing out. And I am a perfect example of FOMO victim. Okay, because if you guys know my channel, I have dove into everything. I haven't done it blindly. I've done it trusting YouTubers. Okay, and that is the problem. There, you cannot trust what you hear on YouTube. You should take everyone's channel, take what you can get out of it for what it's worth do not trust anybody's motives okay but what you should do is if there is good content you should extract the good use it for what you can and anything else that has um, ulterior motives or greed behind it you have to learn to ignore that and you know see past that anyway so there's an article that's the article here I'm gonna leave a um, a uh, link in the description but there's something else I want to show you check this out guys alright guys here it is ICO scams how to create one in five simple steps now here is a little tutorial how easy it is for these people to create the ICO scam okay now follow this guys now this is almost like they do go over this, but this is sort of like a way to get you into this this program. I mean, watch it. I'll show you. Here we go. All right, so you want to buy a house, get a fancy car, finally go on that holiday you've been dreaming of, uh, daydreaming of a jet-set lifestyle. You stumble upon the news that ICOs have raised $5.6 last year. Okay, how can I launch one myself? Well, believe in yourself. First things first. Truly believe yourself in your million-dollar idea. That's worth a Nobel Prize, the Nobel Prize, okay? If you don't have the million-dollar idea, just look for other up-and-coming ICOs and copy their idea, okay? Now, back in December and January, I'm sure a lot of these uh, people out there in the crypto space were doing this exact thing to us, so... Enthusiasm is contagious. Be confident about your idea. It will make it easier to convince others. Definitely hold that pep talk in front of the mirror. Attractive landing page. Once you're convinced about your idea, it's time to repair a website so you can, the world can find your idea. Great ideas attract lots of people. All right, so like make a nice ICO page. Uh, make it attractive. This is, this is crazy, guys. I'm going to keep going here. Copy and paste, my friend. Copy and paste. The golden rule, it's an absolute winner. Just copy and paste anything that you use for your own ICO. Okay, you need a white paper, copy and paste it from the three big ICOs. To the adapt a couple of words, to wait, <laughs> to then adapt a couple of words and change it to your brand, and voila, the perfect white paper ready for you to take over the ICO world. Find that awesome team in superheroes and advisors. As you may notice, ICOs have their own team, but also count with the board of advisors. 
You'll need to have this in mind before you share your awesome landing page and white paper, since you'll need to include these figures in it. You wonder how to get awesome team for ICO? Well, you can go to your super talented self, change your look, and put it in the pictures. If you don't want to hire yourself, you can give recommendations to a very useful HR resource, which you can find plenty of team members at this Getty Images. This is crazy, guys. Um, try to find senior profile, look for businessmen, look for the more tech figure, for the nerd, the computer freak, and add a girl for marketing. We'll do good too. All right, you also need some advisors on your team. You could find them and get images. So basically what this is doing, this is showing you how easy it is to just set up your own fake ICL. And I think a lot of these were done in uh, November and December to a lot of us. So... This was the uh, blueprint that they used. Who needs an alpha, beta, demo version when you have an idea worth a Nobel Prize? Okay, so... <sighs> Reality check. Enough jokes. This is a bad practice. So what this was, this was like a bait and click site. Okay, It gets you to tell you how to set up your fake ICO, but really what it's trying to do is get you in here to show you how to protect yourself. So enough of the jokes. This is bad practice actually happens within the ICO ecosystem. Although we're laughing about this article, it's a serious issue that needs a solution. ICOs have a lot of potential as fundraising mechanisms, but is an increase for need for governance and regulation to make the ecosystem safer and more secure. That is why we develop coin governance system. So there's a new pr coin coming out or product CGS, okay, and what they are going to do, their goal here is they are going to do a series of smart contracts that will hold your funds raised in an ICO in an escrow account. These funds will be released to the ICO launcher over a period of time. However, the ICO token holders lose faith in the project. They could submit a claim to CGS and get their money out, okay? When the claim receives enough support from other ICO token holders, it will be handled by the community of CGS arbiters. Um, who are incentivized to vote correctly. The outcome will, of the claim will enable ICO token holder to withdraw the funds remaining in escrow. So this is a company, um, and what they're going to do is they would like to put together a, and here's all their channels, they want to put together a sort of like a little protective, almost like a union, where they... Go check out their website. Almost like a union where they deal between you and the ICOs. So they are the go-between and they are there to protect your investment. But anyway, these are the kind of things you, you find when you search for how to recover money from an ICO scam late at night. So anyway, that's basically the end of my video here. I'm not going to promote this company or anything like that. I just wanted to bring you this and show you this article and just remind you guys if you're new to cryptocurrency, there are a lot of scams out there. It's very easy to, to um, perpetrate the scam. And all you need is some good hype people, a couple YouTubers with a, a lot of followers that can just pump the hell out of it and cause a little stir or some excitement. And that's how you fall prey to it. You fall on board. You think you're trusting somebody and all of a sudden your money's gone. So once again, when you're watching these YouTube videos from people, take whatever you can of value out of them and ignore the rest, ignore the hype, and especially ignore the promotions of anything new coming out in the ICO world because we are in a bad state right now and everything you get into is a potential money trap. So I just want to bring that to you, and I hope you all have a nice day. Thanks, guys.